Father, we have come again because you have brought us. This is our week of spiritual emphasis. Father, we give you all the praise. Thank you, Lord, for what you are set to do again for diverse encounters. Our Father, we give you praise. Thank him. Glorify him. Appreciate him. Our God is a good God. Father, we give you all the praise. We thank you, Most High God. We bless your holy name. The psalmist said, Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all the benefits. Our Father, we have come to thank you for all the benefit all through this week. Oh Lord, we give you all the praise. Are you thanking him? Lift up your voice, lift up your hands, and worship him. Worship the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords. He's set to do wonders in this service again. And what a joy, the communion table is set before us. Our Father, we thank you for the flesh. We thank you for the blood. We give you all the praise for the power in the blood. We give you all the praise and glory. Return all the glory unto him. Worship him. Thank him. Thank him for strength, for waiting upon the Lord. He said, they that wait upon the Lord, they shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings at the eagle. He said, when they run, they will not be weary. And when they walk, they will not faint. Our Father, we thank you for strength. Thank you, Lord, for vigor, for vitality, for all that you have done for us, and all that you are set to do again, for diverse encounters. We give you all the praise, Lord, in Jesus' Precious name, we are giving thanks. I know you have testimony. Please rush to the prosperity entrance, document them, and in a moment of time, you may be called to share the testimony with the people of God. Shout hallelujah as we welcome the choir. Hallelujah. When I think of Less of Jesus and all He has done for me, my very soul shall shout Hallelujah! Praise. Jesus, I am every day higher. Oh. Every day I lift my 
up Jesus higher every day. a big hand and comfortably take your seat. Commencing our intercessory prayer tonight, we'll be rising up shortly to give God quality to and saying, Father, thank you for the unprecedented in gathering of multitude in our last Sunday services and for settling every unsettled area 
of every life by your word. John 6, verse 44. No man can come to me except my father, which has sent me, draw him, and I will raise him on the last day. Church, rise to your feet. Return all glory to God, saying, Father, we thank you for unprecedented, abiding multitude. You gathered into our last Sunday services and for settling every unsettled area in the life of every worshiper by your word. Our Father, we give you thanks. We give you glory. We celebrate your name for the influence of so multitude you gathered into our last Sunday services. Our Father, we give you thanks. We appreciate you for settling every unsettled area in the life of every worshiper by your word. Is someone giving God thanks? Appreciate him from the depth of your heart for the influence of so unprecedented abiding multitude that the Lord gathered in to our last Sunday services. Father, we give you thanks, not by our power, not by our mind, but by the Spirit, says the Lord. Is someone giving him glory, celebrate him, appreciate him, and for settling every unsettled area in the life of every worshiper by the world. Father, we give you glory. No man can come to you except you draw him. Father, we have laid in our hand as an assembly to return all glory to you. Our Father, we thank you. Is someone thanking God, appreciating some more, giving thanks? It's a good thing to give thanks to God. Is the Lord doing it? And it's marvelous in our eyes. Someone is thanking God, my Father, my God, we thank you for unprecedented in gathering of multitude in our last Sunday services. Father, we worship you. Someone thanking some more. He delight our thanksgiving. He deserve it. Lord, give you, give you praise. Father, we worship you. We celebrate your name for settling every unsettled area of our lives by your word in the name of Jesus. Someone is appreciating God. Remember Thanksgiving. A door with a loud voice. Make sure heaven is hearing your voice of appreciation. Giving glory. Celebrate him. He is a doer. No access and do anywhere. My heavenly father, we give you glory. We thank you for unprecedented in gathering of multitude. Both the young, the old, the gathered in living do to me. Lord, we celebrate your name. Is someone thanking God? Thank him for settling every unsettled area of your life. Father, we give you glory. By your word, you settled every worshiper. Someone is thanking God. Father, we give you glory. Lord, we worship you. Our Father, we thank you for unprecedented in gathering or multitude. The crowd we have not seen before, both our first, our second, our third services. Lord, you God Father, both the young and the old, everywhere, feed of soul. Our Father, we have laid in our heart to return all glory to you. Thank him in your understanding. You can thank him in the language of the Spirit. He that thank him in your own tongue, do it, it well. Let heaven hear your voice of appreciation. Zale, Kapanda, Etete, Susania, Arado, Shangatamba. Lord, for settling every unsettled area of our life. Father, we give you glory. Ale, Kapande, Eshankatanda, our Father, we give you praise for unprecedented abiding multitude you gathered in our services on Sunday. Lord, you are the doer. No assist and do anywhere. Church, are you thanking God? Let him hear your voice of appreciation. Someone is giving him quality. Lord, do doing and this marvelous in our eyes. Someone lift up your holy hands. Lift up your voices. Let's return our glory to him. Our Father, we give you thanks. Blessed and blessed be your name forevermore. In Jesus' precious name, we have given thanks. Put your hands together for Jesus as you comfortably take your seat. Shout aloud, hallelujah. In a moment, we shall be rising up on our feet again to lift up our voice and pray and say, Father, thank you for destroying all oppression of the gate of hell against the continuous growth of this church. Say amen. amen. Isaiah chapter 59 verse 19 said, verse, verse 19, part B, when the enemy shall come in like a flood, the Spirit of the Lord shall lift up a standard against them. 
Shall we rise up on our feet and lift up our voice and say, Father, thank you for destroying all oppression of the gate of hell against the continual growth of this church. Lift up your voice, pray that prayer, appreciate God deliberately, consciously from your heart. Father, thank you for destroying all oppression of the gate of hell against the continuous growth of this church. We saw you, you brought multitude into, into our Sunday service last Sunday. Father, thank you for destroying all oppression of the gate of hell against the continuous growth of this church. Father, we appreciate you. We magnify you. We glorify you. Thank you for destroying all oppression of the gate of hell against the continuous growth of this church. We appreciate you. We magnify your name. Lift up your voice passionately to God and pray. Father, we thank you for destroying all oppression of the gate of hell, for giving them divine judgment, increasing your church on every side. Father, we thank you for destroying all oppression of the gate of hell against the continuous growth of your church. In the mighty name of Jesus, lift up your voice passionately to God and lift up your voice and pray. Father, we thank you. We thank you for destroying all oppression of the gate of hell against the continuous growth of your church. Bring a multitude from every angle. Father, we thank you. Lord, we lift up our voice and say thank you for destroying all oppression of the gate of hell against the continuous growth of your church. We lift up your, our voice to say thank you. We appreciate your name. Lift up your voice and pray to God passionately from your heart. Deliberately appreciate God. Father, we thank you because you brought multitude into our last Sunday service. You have destroyed all oppression of gate of hell. You have given divine judgment. Lord, we appreciate you. Father, we magnify you. Lord, we thank you for destroying all gate of hell against the continuous growth of your church. Father, we give you praise. We magnify you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus, for destroying every arrangement of the satanic host in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we thank you for destroying all oppression of the gate of air against the continuous growth of your church. We appreciate your name. We magnify you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, mighty God. Lord, we give you praise. We glorify your name. Father, we thank you. Lift up your hands to heaven and celebrate Jesus. Father, we appreciate you. We magnify you. Thank you, Jesus, because you have answered us. For in Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Put your beautiful hands together for Jesus and please have your seat. Praise the Lord. Still in the attitude of thanksgiving, when we rise up, we'll be praying in this manner. Father, thank you for massive salvation and ingathering of souls into this church all through the just concluded prophetic season. Is somebody responding with amen? In 1 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 6, Apostle Paul speaking, he said, I have planted Apollo waters, but God gave the increase. Can we rise our feet to give him thanks for the massive salvation and ingathering of souls into this church all through the just concluded prophetic season? Pray passionately, lift up your voice. We can't thank God enough. We always thank Him the more. Therefore, pray passionately. Lift up your voice and give Him thanks. Father, thank you for the massive salvation and engathering of souls into this church all through the just concluded prophetic season. We planted, we watered, but ultimately, you are the one that gave the increase. 
And that is why we will not take it for granted. Rather, we we'll lay it hard to give the glory due unto thy holy name. Give him thanks this evening. Father, we thank you for the massive salvation and in gathering of souls into this church all through the just concluded prophetic season. Only you did it. Only you gave us the increase. And what is left of us is to give you thanks and to acknowledge your mighty doing always in our midst. Father, we thank you for the massive salvation and in gathering of souls into the church all through the just concluded prophetic season. Father, we bless your name for your faithfulness at all times. If it had not been for you on our side, we would not have seen the multitudes of souls that were recorded this, in this place during this just concluded prophetic season. Lord, we will thank you now and forever. We can never thank you enough. Therefore, take all the glory for the massive salvation and ingathering of souls into this church all through the just concluded prophetic season. Only you could have done it. None of us, by our power, by our strength, could have done it. Only you did it. And only you deserve the glory. Father, therefore, be thou glorified, be thou exalted. Take preeminence for the massive salvation and ingathering of souls into this church all through the just concluded prophetic season. We saw them come in droves. We saw the multitudes of souls in answer to our prayers. Lord, therefore, what is left for us is to acknowledge your mighty doings. Only you did it. Only you would take all the glory. Father, we bless your name for your faithfulness in the engathering of massive salvation of souls into this church all through the just concluded prophetic season. Father, we bless your name. You give him thanks. Give him thanks. You can give him thanks in your understanding. You can give him thanks in the Holy Ghost. Father, we bless your name. Rakute, make kaya ba 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 ba. Nde kare kete kete. Rakazuzi kere. Makokate kete kete. Is somebody thanking God enough? Is somebody thanking him the more? Father, we thank you. We saw massive salvation of souls. We saw the anger of multitudes. Only you could have done it. And that is why we lay it to heart this evening to return all the glory unto you. Father, take all the glory. Can we wave our hand and return the adoration unto him? We exalt his name on high. Father, let your name alone be glorified. In Jesus' mighty name we are praying. Let's put our hands together and please be seated. Somebody shout, thank you, Jesus. It is testimony time. I thought someone is clapping for the King of Kings. Hallelujah. Please listen to the following documented testimonies. Matthew 6.33 is the, sorry, 10 years death plague destroyed. I joined this commission in 2006, and before then, there was a plague of death in my family that killed my four siblings. When I joined this commission, the plague had almost killed me too. On several occasions, I coughed blood and knew that I was next in line. So, so I cried and prayed daily to God to stop the plague. In one of the services, I heard Bishop David Oedipo talk about soul winning from that day. I became committed to soul winning. Sometimes, I shut down my business to engage in soul winning. While I was busy winning souls for Christ, God was busy taking care of my family. To the glory of God, June 2015 made it 10 years that we neither recorded death nor went to the hospital for treatment. Behold, the God of this commission has terminated the plague of death in my family. 
To God alone be all the glory. The testimony is from Martins Onyin Yechuku. The second testimony tonight is surgery cancelled via soul winning. I thought you were clapping for Jesus. I joined this commission in 2016 and ever since I've been engaging in soul winning. From January 2018 till now, I've won 700 souls. I thought you are clapping for Jesus. Hallelujah. Recently, I felt sick and was scheduled for a, surger, for a surgical operation. But I stood on God's word in Exodus chapter 23, verse 25. I called on the God of Bishop David Oedipo for my rescue, and he showed up according to his word. Since I'm engaging in soul winning, I'm entitled to sound health. To the glory of God, right at the theater, the surgery was canceled. The same way surgeries will be canceled tonight. Hallelujah. Because I was supernaturally made whole and discharged. I'm here to return all the glory to God. The testimony is from Johnny Uzoum. Please put your beautiful hands together for Jesus as you shout the loudest, thank you, Jesus. Church will be rising again to pray. And as we rise, we'll be saying, Father, thank you for empowering our self-ministers to disciple all our new converts to the point of establishment, thereby taking root downwards and bearing fruit upwards. Can you say amen? Galatians chapter 4 and verse 19, the scripture say, My little children, of whom I travail in birth again, until Christ be formed in you. Church, can you rise on your feet? I'd like us to pray this prayer from the depth of our heart. The lives of men are involved here. Pray that the Lord will cause them to be established. Appreciate the Lord for establishing them. Appreciate the Lord for empowering our self ministers to disciple these precious souls. Return the glory and honor to God. Father, we have come to say thank you for empowering our cell ministers to disciple all our new converts to the point of establishment, thereby taking root downwards and bearing fruit upwards. Can you lift your voice and appreciate the Lord for empowering our cell ministers to cause these precious lives to be established in the faith in the name of the Lord Jesus. Lift your voice and give the Lord thanks from the depth of your heart. Appreciate the Lord. Father, we have come to say thank you for empowering our self ministers to disciple all our new converts to the point of establishment. Thereby, taking root downwards and bearing fruit upwards in the name of of the Lord Jesus. Lift your voice in thanksgiving. Thanksgiving is always done with a loud voice. Lift your voice. Father, we have come to say thank you. We have come to say thank you because it's not by power, it's not by might, but by my spirit, say the Lord. No one can carry out divine assignment on the energy of the flesh. No one can carry out divine assignments on the energy of the flesh. It must have been the empowerment of the Holy Ghost. Father, we have come to thank you for empowering our self-ministers to disciple all our new converts and to the point of establishment, thereby taking root downwards and bearing fruit upwards in the name of the Lord Jesus. Lift your voice in thanksgiving. And thanksgiving is always done with a very loud voice, appreciating the Lord, giving him thanks, showing forth that this is the doings of the Lord. They are marvelous in our hearts. Father, we thank you. Jehovah, we appreciate you. Thank you for empowering our cell ministers to disciple all our new converts to the point of establishment thereby taking root downwards and bearing fruit upwards in the name of the Lord Jesus. Are you giving the Lord thanks? Are you giving the Lord thanks? Appreciate him, worship him, exalt him, magnify him. Jehovah, we say thank you. Jehovah, we appreciate you 
for empowering our cell ministers, even to mobilize and cause these precious souls to be established even in your presence in the name of the Lord Jesus. We thank you, Lord, for empowering our, many, our cell ministers to disciple all our new converts to the point of establishment, thereby taking root downwards and bearing fruit upwards. Can you lift your voice, lift your holy hands, wave it before the Lord in appreciation. Wave it before the Lord in appreciation. Return the glory and honor to him. Jehovah, as an assembly, we have returned to say thank you. We have returned to say thank you because I've empowered our some ministers to disciple these precious souls even to the point of being established in the presence of the Lord in the name of Jesus. Jehovah, we thank you. Blessed be your name. In Jesus' name, we've given thanks. Our thanksgiving has been accepted. Put your hands together for the Lord. God bless you. Please be seated. Shout hallelujah. Together we are rising to pray. And when we stand up, we shall say, Father, thank you for opening the eyes of every worshiper to what to do in every aspect of life this month, thereby bringing about our desired testimony. Say, big amen. amen. Ephesians 1.18 has this to say, the eyes of your understanding being enlightened, that you may know what is the hope of his calling and what the riches of the glory of his inheritance is in the saints. Rise up to your feet. The prayer is on the screen. Engage it seriously. The opening of eyes, your understanding, to know what to do in this month of health and healing and cure and eradication of infirmities. Open your mouth and pray. Father, thank you for opening the eyes of every worshiper to what to do in every aspect of life this month. Thereby bringing about the desired testimonies. The eyes of your understanding being enlightened. The lives of the understanding being enlightened. Lord, guide us into the secret of testimonies as he has to do with our healings this month. I will restore health unto you. It is a prophetic word for the man. Lord, guide us into it. Open our eyes of understanding to what to do in every aspect of life this month. Thereby bringing about our desired testimony. Everyone will end this month with a testimony. Because the light of our understanding, the eyes of our understanding will be open. And everyone will know what to do. We will know what to do. And as we do it, the testimony abide. There shall be multiple testimonies in this assembly. It shall turn unto us a testimony as we do, as we engage, as our eyes of understanding are open as to what to do. Father, thank you for opening the eyes of every worshiper to what to do, to what to do in every aspect of life this month, thereby bringing about our desired testimony. Everyone is entering into it. Everyone knows what to do. And everyone is engaging. None shall be left behind. Testimonies everywhere. Everyone rushing. Everyone engaging. Everyone knowing what to do. Ah, Father, thank you for the opening of our eyes that we may understand and know what to do. Command testimonies in every aspect of our lives. Everyone engaging shall have, shall have testimony. You shall have testimony because, of the, because they know what to do, how to engage in the name of Jesus. Father, thank you for opening the eyes of every worshiper to what to do 
in every aspect of life this month, thereby bringing about our desired testimony in the mighty name of Jesus. Pray in the spirit if you will. Begin to pray in the spirit. Now, spiritual attack. Librando setikalata. Mayaku liebredia galas. Evova salabakenda. Raprados embradi galas sataba. Lift up your hands to heaven. Give him thanks. Father, we thank you. Blessed be your name. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Put your hands together and be seated. Shortly we will rise again to pray. And we shall be saying, Father, thank you for empowering every worshiper into next levels of all round breakthroughs in our week of spiritual emphasis beginning tonight. Somebody say it very loud, amen. amen. Psalm 65 verse 4 said, Blessed is the man whom the Lord choose and cause to approach unto him. Such a man will be satisfied with the goodness of God's house. It will begin with you and I tonight. Would you rise to your feet? Let's power this prayer saying, Father, thank you for empowering every worshiper into next levels of all round breakthroughs into our week of spiritual emphasis beginning tonight. Lift up your voice. Let's appreciate him for empowering every worshiper to next levels of all round breakthroughs in our week of spiritual emphasis beginning tonight. Father, we have returned to say thank you. Thank you for empowering every worshiper into next levels of all round breakthroughs in our week of spiritual emphasis beginning tonight. Thank you, Almighty God. You are launching each one into next levels of all round breakthroughs. Breakthrough in career, breakthrough in business, breakthrough in academics, in finance, and otherwise. Father, we have come tonight. We lay it to heart to say thank you. Father, we say thank you for empowering every worshiper into next levels of all round breakthroughs in our week of spiritual emphasis beginning tonight. Father, thank you for empowering each one of us into next levels of all round breakthroughs. Lord, we say thank you because you are empowering each one of us beginning from tonight. Ensure God is hearing your voice of gratitude. Make sure you are praying, saying, Father, in the name of Jesus, thank you for empowering every worshiper into next levels of all round breakthroughs in our week of spiritual emphasis beginning tonight. Make sure you are praying. Let your voice be registered on I. We are saying, Father, thank you for empowering every worshiper into next levels of all round breakthroughs. Breakthrough in every department of our lives in our week of spiritual emphasis commencing tonight. Lord, we celebrate you. Ensure you are praying. Make sure you are thanking the Lord. You can do it in the Holy Ghost. You can as well thank him in your understanding. He that giveth thanks in the Holy Spirit, do it it well. Many are not in Brana de Aletania. Lenus in Catele. Renu para de Aletenian de Leanantos. Meno Coteria Nedilia. Renabala inianto bonde glendosia letendia. We celebrate you, Lord. We magnify you, Lord. Thank you for empowering every worshiper into next levels of all round breakthroughs in our week of spiritual emphasis beginning tonight. Eruna Nadian Zozelia, Panos Kekenente Renendia Letenua, Menendili Nenosiate, Jesus Aga Galatoria Angelenendia. We celebrate you, Lord. We magnify you, Lord, for empowering each one of us 
into next levels of all-round breakthroughs in our week of spiritual emphasis beginning tonight Somebody lift up those beautiful hands, wave it unto the Lord, appreciate Him, magnify Him, tell Him, Father, thank you for empowering us. For in Jesus' precious name, we are praying. Put your beautiful hands together for Jesus and please take your seat. Hallelujah. It's time for personal supplication. When we bring our matters before Jehovah. And tonight, God is going to give us an answer of peace in the name of Jesus. Jeremiah 33, verse 3. Say, call upon me and I will answer you. And show you great and mighty things which thou knowest not. If there's a man to call tonight, there's a God to answer in the name of Jesus. Please rise up on your feet and take any position that will maximize your prayer tonight. And lift up your voice and cry to God tonight for an answer in the name of Jesus Christ. Make sure you are pressing tonight because surely the Lord must answer you tonight. It's one night of answers. A closed mouth is a closed destiny. Make sure you are pouring your heart to Jehovah tonight because you are not living this place the same way you came. You are living his presence transformed tonight. Somebody pray tonight.
Surely there's an end and the expectation of the righteous shall not be cut off. Is somebody still crying to God tonight? Lord, today shall be an end for every sickness in my body, every shame, every reproach in my life and destiny, every frustration. Tonight is the end. Leko parantos ketelia, azozo leka panandos yakatalagara. Now begin to appreciate him, begin to celebrate him intensely. We give you thanks, Lord, appreciate him, just like you cried unto him. That is the reason, the confidence we have. Whenever we pray according to his will, he heareth us. Father, we thank you, Lord my God, because all our, our expectations, Lord my God, have returned to answers in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you tonight. We worship your King of glory. We celebrate you, ancient of days. Thank you, Almighty God. Receive all the glory in the name of Jesus. Put your hand together for the Lord and the members of that place. Hallelujah. Please, let's listen to the following announcement. Number one, Covenant Hour of Prayer continues tomorrow, Thursday to Friday. And the time is 6 to 7 a.m. in this church and at all our various prayer locations around the city. Number two, week of spiritual emphasis continues tomorrow, Thursday, 3rd to Friday, 4th of August, 2023. Remember, we shall be waiting on the Lord in a fast and break with the communion. The time is 5 p.m. daily. Number three, good news. <laughs> Leadership Empowerment Summit for August comes up this Saturday, 5th August, 2023, and shall be a live broadcast from Canaan Land with God's servant, the apostle over this commission, releasing prophetic blessings. All service unit workers, WSF operators, pastors, elders, and all other workers are expected to be in attendance. Everyone expected should endeavor to honor God with their presence in this program. The time is 7 a.m. Number four, good news, youth, youth, youth in the house. Anna Youth Life Confession, Ayak 23, the Anna Youth Life Confession tagged Breaking New Grounds kicks off Tuesday, August 22nd to Saturday, August 26, 2023, both in Kilaland and across designated locations in Nigeria and around the world. All youth are admonished to register at the youth desk as well as prayerfully get set for encounters of a lifetime. Everyone interested in sponsoring youth should equally indicate their interest to youth office or youth desk. Number five, junior and advanced junior Bible school 2023. This is calling on all parents guidance to register their children awards for the junior and advanced junior Bible school. This 2023 edition of the JBS and AJBS with the team, Discovering God's Lovers, commences on the 14th of August, 2023. The basic course is for children between the ages of 10 to 12 years why the advanced course is for 13th year to 19th year. For further information, parents are advised to check the church notice board. Number six, good news. Pastoral counseling is available after each service on Sundays at the pastor's conference room. Those in need of pastoral counseling should take advantage of this opportunity. Also, there is opportunity for outreach after every first service on Sundays. Join the Jesus Crusaders in front of the signs and wonders all. Number seven, Word of Faith Bible Institute will be. Clap better if you want to clap. Word of Faith Bible Institute August Special holds a two weeks intensive course offering business advocate course, BCC and leadership advocate course, LCC, only between 7th and 18th August 2023. Those who have not attended before or attended more than five years ago, should start making plans to attain. Forms are available with the ushers and at the Dominion Bookstore. Number eight, Believers Foundation School and Water Baptism all this Saturday. The time is 8 a.m. and on Sunday after the second service at the Glory Hall. Number nine, 
WSF Winners Center Fellowship holds in various homes of winners next Saturday. Endeavor to locate the nearest to your home and get your new converts and other invitees to attend with you. The time is 5 to 6 p.m. And number 10, praise the Lord. Next Saturday shall be a covenant day of restoration. All that anyone may have lost to the wicked in the course of the battles of life shall be supernaturally restored. Particularly, God shall be restoring total air to all who are challenged their head. Come prepare for an encounter of a lifetime. It shall be a service to be much remembered. Come along with your converts, invitees, and other loved ones. Service schedules as displayed on the screen. Jesus is Lord. Good news. God has blessed the family of Mr. and Mrs. Bright with a miracle baby boy. Check the church notice board for details of covenant naming. And we clap better for Jesus. Praise the Lord. In this special communion service, it is offering time. Please package your offerings, your tithes, and all other vows you have made or covenanted with God before now. Package it together. For those watching online, please follow the instructions as displayed on the screen. While doing that, please Let's focus on Proverbs chapter 3, verse 9 to 10. He said, Honor the Lord with thy substance and with the first fruits of all thy increases. Why? He says, So shall thy barns be filled with plenty, and thy presses shall burst out with new wine. In this new month, new ideas, fresh from heaven. In the mighty name of Jesus, if you have done packaging, please rise to your feet, lift it above your head and speak a word of confirmation. Let God hear your voice of appreciation. It's a privilege to honor the Lord. Father, we have come to say thank you. With your hands lifted in the name of Jesus, Father, we have come to honor you this night. Let this be acceptable in your sight in the mighty name of Jesus. Let it become a sweet smelling savour in your presence. In the name of Jesus, for as many that are paying their tithe, let the windows of heaven be opened. Lack and want shall never be mentioned with you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Please take your seat joyfully, cast your offerings as we welcome the choir. The Waymaker is here in our midst tonight and is making a way for you. He's making a way for you. Hallelujah.
I said hallelujah. I said hallelujah. Amen. One more time, lift your hands and worship the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. Someone who is set for the word of God tonight. The word of transformation. Worship him. Give him thanks. Thank you, King of Glory, because tonight's service is my service. Tonight's service is my service to be visited. I shall be visited tonight. Father, we give you praise. Thank you, King of Glory. For in Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen. Hallelujah. God's servant. Our resident and state pastor is on a brief official assignment, but God has sent another servant of his. And tonight, we have in our midst our pastor, Pastor Olalere Ibiwoye. He's a district and resident pastor of Living Church, Jikoi. And he shall be blessing us tonight with the word of God. Let's make welcome God's servant. Hallelujah. Let the church shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Someone is excited to be here tonight. Let God hear your thunderous hallelujah. For that wonderful, powerful ministration by the choir. Please put your wonderful hands together for Jesus. It can be louder. It can be better. Let the church shout hallelujah. I count it a great honor and a great privilege to be standing on this exalted altar tonight. And to this end, I want to specially appreciate leadership. I want to specially appreciate God's servant, our state and pastor. I'm very, very grateful. And my prayer is that this moment together, God will use it and to bless each and every one of us in the precious name of Jesus Christ. I want to specially salute our mother in the house, the wife to our state pastor. I honor you, man. I want to specially recognize the pastorates I want to specially recognize our ordained and workers, our elders, our deacons, our deaconesses. And also want to specially uh, recognize our statutory and boards, and beginning with the church board and chairman. And in the house, we have our various service and unit executive. We all are acknowledged, we all are recognized, and I pray your labor of love in the kingdom shall be rewarded in the name of Jesus Christ. I want to assure us that God's servant, our state pastor, is only on is only gone on official assignment. He's not here with us physically, but he's here with us spiritually. And God's servant specifically told me. Uh, to greet each and every one of you on his and behalf. And not too long from now, God's servant will be back and uh, to be a blessing to us again. God who has taken him down safely, it will bring him back to us safely in the precious name of Jesus Christ. If you agree to that, your amen will show it. Without wasting time, we shall be going straight into God's word tonight. I'd like you to be full of expectation. You have not come to meet with man, but to meet with God. The scripture says they look up unto him and they were lightened and their faces were not ashamed. The psalmist says, I will lift up my eyes to the hills and from whence cometh my help? My help cometh from the Lord. 
the God you have come to me tonight, it will not fail you. It will not disappoint you. Upon this mountain tonight, there shall be deliverance. There shall be healing. Tonight, you shall possess your possession. Let a believer shall they believe in amen. Shall we pray? Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, Lord, we say thank you. Thank you for this gathering. Thank you for your presence here. Thank you for all you've done here already. I accept thanks in the name of Jesus Christ. And as we go into your word, Lord, by your word, heal us. By your word, deliver us. By your word, bless us. Holy Spirit of God, take over and let Jesus alone be glorified in Jesus' precious name. You agree with me? God has answered us. Shout a bigger amen. amen. Your hands together for Jesus and please we may be seated. And as we are seated, I'd like us to turn to our neighbors with a good smile and a good handshake. Please say to them, my neighbor, good evening, sir. Amen. Neighbor, you are welcome. Neighbor, smile, there is no problem. And tell your neighbor, God will visit you here tonight. You agree to that, shout a loud amen. amen. I want to specially welcome each and every one of us in the name of God, the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Also on behalf of leadership, and on behalf of God's servant, our state pastor. And I am too confident that in this service, God will heal you. God will deliver you. God will give you your miracle. You have come tonight. You will not go empty from here. Your amen can be better. Now the prophetic focus and for this new month says, I will restore health unto you. Can we chorus it together? I will restore health unto you. Our anchor scripture for the month is Jeremiah uh, chapter 30 and verse 17. It says, for I will uh, restore health unto thee, and I will heal thee of thy wounds, and say it the Lord. And because they call thee an outcast, saying, and this is Zion, whom no man seeketh after. And this is God assuring us and that it will restore health unto us and it will heal us of our wounds. In the course of this month, your healing shall be confirmed. Your deliverance shall be confirmed. In case you are here tonight with any form of affliction, before this service is over, you will look for it. You will not find it again. Yeah. Our teaching series, that is the topic we are looking at in our midweek and communion services all through this month is uh, meet Jesus, the great physician and his great um, prescriptions. I said meet Jesus, the great physician and his great um, prescription. And tonight we are looking at um, part um, 1A. And tomorrow we shall continue. And we continue like that all through this week of spiritual emphasis. Don't forget the prophetic focus is, I will restore health unto you. Our anchor scripture is Jeremiah uh, chapter 30 and verse 17. The topic we are looking at says, uh, meet Jesus, the great physician and his great um, prescription. In Jeremiah chapter 8 and verse 22, the Bible says, Is there no balm in Gilead? Is there no physician there? Why then is not uh, the health of the daughter of my people uh, recovered? And that simply means where you have the balm and where you have also uh, the physician, and there is bound unto be a recovery. And through a study I did sometime, I discovered that Gilead, it is a location at the eastern part of Jordan. And in that location, 
And this particular kind of tree and was grown there. The leaves and whatever comes from that tree, it is known and to bring about cure, about healing. And now God is asking, is there no balm in Gilead? Is there no physician there? And why then is not at the elders of the daughter of my people unrecovered? I'm glad to let you know that we have the great physician. And also he has his prescriptions in terms of balm. And so as we we'll engage the great physician and couple with his prescription, and tonight you will not return home with that affliction. In the name of Jesus Christ. By way of introduction, understand that Jesus Christ, who is the great physician, and still heals and delivers us in Bible days. We are all aware in Bible days, and Jesus healed, and Jesus and delivered. And the good news is this, that the same Jesus uh, still heals and delivers even today. In Matthew chapter 4 verse 23, it says, And Jesus went about all Galilee, and teaching in their synagogues, and preaching the gospel of the kingdom, and healing all manner of sickness and all manner of disease among the people. So in Bible days, it was busy healing. It was busy and delivering. And we understand from Hebrews uh, chapter 13 and verse 8 uh, that Jesus Christ uh, the same yesterday and today and uh, forever. And that simply means that what he did and before is able also to do now. So the same Jesus and that healed then, and that delivered then, is equally doing the same now. And that is why the good news to you is this. You will not leave this service with that affliction. Yeah. You will not leave this service with that infirmity. Yeah. I command your healing now in the name of Jesus Christ. Yeah. So he still goes about healing everyone oppressed of the devil. So as long as there is an oppression, the good news is this. We still have the same Jesus who still goes about healing all that are oppressed of the devil. In the book of Matthew, and chapter 8 and verse 16. Matthew 8, 16. It says, when the even, meaning the evening was come, and they brought unto him and many and that were possessed and with devils. And he cast out the spirits and with his word. And healed all that were oppressed. And so he healed and also he cast out evil spirits. Whatsoever evil spirit is behind the affliction. Now I command that devil to leave you alone now. <laughs> Acts chapter 30 and verse 38 it is how God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and with power, who went about doing good and healing all that were oppressed of the devil. And for God and was and with him. So it was anointed. And then it went about doing good. It was healing and also delivering from all oppressions. That oppression of the devil in your life, I command an end to it now in the name of Jesus Christ. So every one of them was healed without none left. In this service today, I command receive your healing. Receive your deliverance in the name of Jesus Christ. So Jesus still heals today. Instantly, and through a process of recovery. And Jesus still heals today instantly and through a process of a recovery. And that simply means his healing power and takes place on the spot. And so when he heals, he heals on the spot. In some situations, 
you discover that you see the manifestation immediately. In some others, uh, the manifestation appears gradual. But the fact remains that it heals on the spot. And when Jesus saw the fig tree, and he caused on the fig tree, immediately he caused that fig tree, and the fig tree died. And but the withering and took a process and before the manifestation. But the good news is this. You can take your healing instantly. Yeah. And tonight, God is giving you instant healing. Yeah. Your recovery shall be instant. Yeah. If you agree to that, your amen will testify. Yeah. And that simply means healing takes place either instantly or gradually. Meaning the manifestation. At times, it is instant. And at times, though you are healed already, but the process is there in terms of recovery. In Matthew chapter 8 and verse 1 to 3. Matthew 8, 1 to 3. It is when it was come down from the mountain, great multitude followed him. And behold, there came a leper and worshipped him, saying, Lord, if thou will, and thou can make me clean. And Jesus put forth his hand and touched him, saying, I will be thou clean. And immediately his leprosy was cleansed. When was his leprosy cleansed? Immediately. Tonight, God will give you instant healing. In Mark chapter 8 and verse 22 up to 25. Mark chapter 8, 22 up to 25. They're talking about Mark 8, 22 to 25. Let me just paraphrase it. I'm talking about a man born blind. And when Jesus saw, the disciples saw, he asked the question, who actually sinned that this man and was born blind? The man or his spirit? And Jesus said, no one sinned, but that the name of the Lord might be glorified through him. And Jesus passed on the ground, he made clay, and with that he anointed the eye. And when that took place, what happened? Now, he told him, go to the pool of Siloam and wash. Go and wash. Now, he followed the instruction, he went forth, and then he washed. Praise God. I said, praise God. Amen. I said, amen. Please, this is... Yeah. And then he went, and then he came back. He was... As he came back. Shout hallelujah. As he shout hallelujah. And let me read it so to get it better. Amen. He says, and, he, and he come to Bethsaida, Bethsaida, and they bring a blind man unto him, and besought him, and to touch him. Please, this is another one. Amen. And he took the blind man, and by the hand, and led them out of the town. And when he had spit on his eyes and put his hand upon him, he asked him if he saw aught. And he looked up and said, I see men as trees walking. After that, he put his hand again upon his eyes and made them look up. And he was restored and saw every man clearly. How did they see? Clearly. That was the first touch. It wasn't seen clearly. But there was the second touch. And with that, he was able to see and clearly. So his healing was and gradual. And that simply means when God heals, it can either be instant or gradual in terms of manifestation. In this service tonight, your healing shall be instant. Yeah. If you agree to that, your amen will show it. Yeah. And let me show you what to note about the great physician and for your healing. What to note about the great physician for your healing. Number one, and we must recognize that Jesus is the great physician. Number one, we must recognize uh, that Jesus is uh, the great uh, physician. And so our healing begins from there. Recognizing the fact that the great physician is Jesus Christ himself. Now if we talk about the great physician, and uh, that simply means there are other physicians. And checking through the scripture, you discover 
Bible talks about physicians of no value. Say with me, physicians of no value. And this simply talks about agents of darkness and parading themselves as healers or, or claiming to possess the power and to heal. And Job and referred to them in Job uh, chapter 13 and verse 4. It says, But ye are forgers of lies, and ye are all physicians of no value. And so going to the devil agent of darkness, kingdom of darkness, and seeking and for healing amounts to a waste of time. And scripture says they are liars. And not only that, they have no value unto her to you. The Bible also we understand are telling us that we have what is called medical doctors. Say with me, medical doctors. And these are good people with good intention. And the challenge with the medical practitioner is that they are limited. Amen. In 2 Chronicles 16 and verse 12 and 13. 2 Chronicles 16 verse 12. It is an answer in the thirty and ninth year of his reign. Was diseased in his feet. Until his disease was exceeding great. Yet in his disease he sought not unto the Lord. But to the physicians. They're talking about medical practitioners. The next verse. It is an as slept with his fathers and died in the one and fortieth year of his reign. And so he sought unto the physicians, the medical practitioners, and they were there to help, but they were limited coming to help. Now, he sought not to the Lord, but unto them. And the Bible tells us he died. You will not die. Is there anything wrong going to see a doctor? Nothing is wrong. But you will only require that when you are sick. Beginning from today, you will no longer be sick. Amen. Even when you need to see a doctor, don't lose sight on God. I was in a battle sometime, and I was passing, driving in front of an a hospital. And I saw written boldly on the face of that hospital, saying, we care... Um, but God kills. And so even doctors know that they don't have the power to kill. They can only care. They can only come into help to the degree to which they can. But when it comes to kill, it is God that kills. And that is why he remains the great physician. Shout hallelujah. And also note we have the great physician. And that is talking about Dr. Jesus himself. Why is it the great physician? It does not know impossibility. Why is it the great physician? There is no case it cannot undo. Why is it the great physician? You don't need to pay before it will attend to you. Why is it the great and physician? By the time it's done operating on you, there is no mark, there is no scar. Everything is perfect. Tonight. Dr. Jesus shall walk on your system in the name of Jesus Christ. And so I said we must recognize that Jesus is the great physician. Matthew chapter 9 and verse 10. Matthew 9, 10, beginning. It is, and it came to pass as Jesus sat at meal in the house. Behold, many publicans and sinners came and sat down with him and his disciples. And when the Pharisees saw, saw it, they said unto his disciples, Why eateth your master with publicans and sinners? Verse 12. But when Jesus heard that, he said unto them, They that behold need not a physician, and but they and that are sick. But go ye and learn what that means. I will have mercy and not sacrifice, for I am not come to call the righteous, but sinners to uh, repentance. You discover in that passage, uh, Jesus introduced himself as our physician. And so Jesus is the great physician. In Matthew chapter 8 and verse 17, it says that it might be fulfilled, which was spoken by Isaiah the prophet, saying, himself took our infirmities and bare our sicknesses. 
So as our great physician, he has taken our infirmity. He has borne our sicknesses. And 1 Peter chapter 2, verse 24 says, who, who his own self bear our sins in his own body on the tree, that we, being dead to sin, should live unto uh, righteousness. By whose stripes uh, ye uh, were healed. Say with me, I'm already healed. And say it again, I'm already healed. So what we must note about the great physician for our healing, I said one, we must recognize that Jesus is the great physician. He has the power to heal, the power to deliver, the power to set free. And tonight, this power shall be released in your favor. Amen. And also note too, that he is the only, he is the only known and all-round specialist that heals and delivers from all forms of sicknesses and diseases. I said he is the only known and all-round specialist and that heals and delivers from all forms of sicknesses and diseases. Now, when we talk about specialists, now they specialize in a particular area when it comes to sicknesses and diseases. But coming to Jesus, he is the only known and only recognized specialist and that specializes in all aspects, in all round. And that is why tonight, it doesn't matter what is your case, my God will turn it into testimonies for you. Yeah. If you agree to that, your amen will testify. Yeah. In the book of Acts chapter 10 and verse 38, it says, how God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and with power, who went about doing good and healing our many, all that were oppressed of the devil. And for God was with him. So he went about healing all. Tonight, your healing shall be confirmed in the name of Jesus Christ. So Jesus is a specialist in healing all manner of sicknesses and diseases. And so he specializes in dealing with men, in dealing with the cases of women, in dealing with the cases of children. When it comes to bones, he's a specialist. When it comes to blood, he's a specialist. And when it comes, just mention anything, or organ in the system, he is a specialist. The specialist is in the house tonight. And tonight, he will attend to you. Whatsoever has not been planted by him in your life, it will uproot it for you. Yeah. Another thing you must note is that the, the prescription of this great physician covers all issues of life, including our health and wholeness. The prescription of this, of this great physician uncovers all issues of life, including our health and wholeness. And so the great physician, whatsoever he has, his prescription rather, and covers, covers all aspects, all areas, and all issues of life. That is why whenever he says anything, concerning anything, you can be sure if you will follow his instruction, there's going to be miracle. In John chapter 10 and verse 10, it says the thief come not but for to steal and to kill and to destroy. I am come that they might have life and that they might have it more abundantly. So he has come and to give us life in abundance. And that includes our health, our well-being. And tonight you are taking your own from here. Amen. Let the believers shout a bigger amen. amen. And so there are prescriptions of the great physician. Tonight, we just look at one and we continue tomorrow. So, the prescription of the great physician is healing wonders in faith. Say with me, healing wonders in faith. What does that mean? That is healing and through the power of faith. And so, the prescription we are looking at is faith. Say with me, faith. And so one primary requirement for our healing in this kingdom is faith. 
Healing is the covenant right of every child of God. And both accessible by faith. And so when it comes to healing, it is our covenant right. But we can only access it um, by faith. Say what mean by faith. Amen. We understand in scriptures uh, that you and I, we are overcomers in all aspects of life. Including when it comes um, to heal health and all of that. We are meant to overcome. And we overcome by faith. Uh, 1 John chapter 5 and verse 4. It says, for whatsoever is born of God, overcome the world. And this is the victory that overcome the world, even our faith. In Matthew chapter 9, verse 27 to 29. Two blind men and walk up to Jesus when he entered into the house. And then Jesus said unto them, what do you want? They said that we may receive our sight. And Jesus asked, do you believe I'm able to do this? And they said, yes, Lord. Yeah, we believe. And he said, be it unto you according to your faith. And because they had the faith, and the healing took place on the spot. Watch it outside of faith. Your healing is not certain. And your healing is not guaranteed. But because you are a man of faith, and tonight you are taking that healing. Amen. You agree to that a bigger amen. amen. So number one platform um, for our healing from the great physician or prescription from the great physician, it is our faith. Jesus went to his hometown, Nazareth, and he could not do many miracles simply because of their unbelief. And they marveled because of their unbelief. That is in Mark chapter 6, 4 and to 6. And what about the woman with the issue of blood? She had the faith that if only I may but touch the hem of his garment, I shall be made whole. That was her faith. And when she took that step of faith, she touched. The Bible tells us she was made whole instant. Tonight, your faith will give back to your miracle. Yeah. So the faith that works, number one, the faith that works, one, must be an obedient faith. Number one, must be an obedient faith. That this faith is not just believing God, and faith is obeying God and to prove that we believe him. So we can commit him and to make good his promise. James chapter 2 verse 18, it says, show me your faith uh, without your work. And I will show you my faith by my works. And verse 26, it says, just as the body without the spirit is dead, so also faith without works is dead. So if we have faith, we will prove it. So true faith, that is genuine faith, acts on what God says, meaning it is obedient. John chapter 9, verse 1 to 8, I thought the first I was trying to communicate to us them, talking about the man that was blind, born blind, and uh, Jesus made clay, anointed his eyes, and told him to go and wash. And this man and went, and he came back and sinned. That is on faith. That was an instruction. It went out to do it, and there was a miracle. Your miracle will be born now. Yeah. Number two, on the faith that, that heals must be a speaking faith. A must be a speaking, speaking faith. Speaking faith. So while faith is domiciled in the heart, it requires the tongue to manifest. Romans 10.10 10 tells us that for with the heart man believeth unto righteousness with the heart. But with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. Amen. So faith for healing must be a speaking of faith. That is why Isaiah 33 verse 24 tells us, the people that dwell in Zion, it says they shall not say, I am sick. So that is what you must say, that is what you must not say. And Joel 3 verse 10, it says, the later part, it says, let the weak say, I am strong. Let the one that is strong in the house shout hallelujah. <laughs> so God has given you a mouth and a wisdom that no sickness, disease can gain say nor resist. That when you say it, heaven confirms it. Every word you are saying from now, it shall be confirmed. Amen. 
And one more, number three, it must be a bold and faith. Say with me, a bold faith. And many it is, as, it is speaking boldly and acting boldly uh, that commit God uh, to make good uh, his word. That is to give us the testimonies that we require. Acts 14 and verse 3. It says, long time therefore abode they speaking boldly in the Lord, which gave testimony unto the word of his grace, and granted signs and wonders to be done by their hands. They were speaking boldly, and then God granted signs and wonders to be done. Rise on your feet. Tonight, your own miracles shall be born. Amen. Your own testimony shall be born. Amen. Let's appreciate God for the sent word. Give him thanks, give him praise, give him glory. I appreciate him for the word that has just gone forth. Give him thanks, give him praise. Now take grace from God to be doer of the same and not hearer only. Grace from God to do as we have been instructed. Receive it from God. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. The communion table is set. But before we partake of that, you have to be sure there is no barrier between you and your God. You see, until you accept the person of Christ, and then there is nothing that will come from him to you. Until you are forgiven your sin, your healing is not guaranteed. The scripture says, who forgiveth our iniquities and healeth our diseases. There must need for forgiveness first and before the healing can happen. You are here tonight. You know that you know you are not born again. I want to pray for you. Also, you are here tonight. You gave your life to Christ sometime. But due to one care of the word or the other, you went back. You need to return back home tonight like the prodigal son did. I also want to pray for you. And in case you are here, you are not even sure whether you are born again or not. Please allow me to pray for you. You belong to any of these three categories. I'd like you to say this after me. Please all head bowed, all head bowed, please. All head bowed and all eyes closed. Sincerely, you want to be born again. Or you want to rededicate your life to Jesus. Or you want to be sure of your salvation. So that your healing can be guaranteed tonight. Put your right hand on your chest. And say and make this confession of faith. Your right hand on your chest. Say after me, Lord Jesus. Please say it louder. Lord Jesus. I come unto you. I'm a sinner. I confess my sins. Wash me in your blood. Receive me into your kingdom. Be my Lord. Be my Savior. Thank you, Jesus, for saving me. Thank you, Jesus, for receiving me into the beloved. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you. You just said that prayer there everywhere. I want to pray for you in front here. Please don't be ashamed of Jesus Christ. I want you to now leave your seat. Come to the front here and meet me as I pray for you. Start coming. God bless you. From everywhere, you repeated that prayer. You prayed that prayer. You said that confession after me. Leave your seat and start coming. Don't be ashamed of Jesus. Jesus said if you are ashamed of him here, he will be ashamed of you over there. This is your opportunity. If someone beside you is not coming out, it's because he's already born again. So it is your turn tonight. You prayed that prayer to be born again. Start coming. You pray that prayer to rededicate your life to Jesus. Come, Jesus is waiting for you. You pray that prayer to be sure of your salvation. Allow Jesus, allow Jesus. The devil doesn't want you to come out so that they can keep away from you your healing, your deliverance, your blessings. This is your opportunity. You must be smarter than the devils. Somebody say, come and come quickly. Jesus is waiting for you. It's because of you this clap is say on. Oh, why not come? Don't be ashamed of Jesus. Why not come? You prayed that prayer. You repeated it after me. Quickly come. Jesus is calling. God bless you. In case you are still coming, you join us while prayer is ongoing. And for those in front, I pray for you. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, these precious souls have confessed their sins. They have confessed your lordship. Lord, forgive them. Break the power of sin and of Satan in their lives. Their decision for you today, let it be forever. 
the joy, the blessing of salvation, let it become theirs. Lord, save them to the end. In Jesus' precious name. Amen. God bless you. Please open your eyes. Follow our pastor there. Amen. Church, shout hallelujah. The communion table is set. What do you want God to do for you at this table? Jesus said, He that eateth my flesh and drinketh my blood has life in him. When that life is there, no sickness survives there. Therefore, I'd like you to pray to God, Lord, as I partake of this communion, every sickness, every disease, every infirmity in my system, Lord, flush it out. Please go ahead and begin to pray this prayer. Pray from the depth of your heart. Pray it and mean it. Pray it full of expectation. And pray it expecting your instant healing, your instant deliverance, your instant blessings. Are you talking to God? Are you passionate about it? Tell God at this communion table tonight, Lord, heal me. Lord, deliver me. Lord, meet me at the point of my name. As I partake of this communion, I take my instant healing, my instant deliverance, my instant liberation. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Please lift up your hands to heaven. Connect your faith to these prayers. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, your word has gone forth tonight. Confirm the same in every life in the name of Jesus. And Father, at this communion table tonight, I decree, let there be instant healing, instant deliverance, instant manifestation of God's power. Whatever sickness, disease that be in your body, by this communion, I command it flush out. Receive your instant healing in the name of Jesus. The communion everywhere is declared blessed in the name of Jesus. The power of God is released into them in the name of Jesus. This is now the blood of Jesus Christ. This is now the body of Jesus Christ. This is now only communion for your instant healing, instant deliverance, also instant blessings. So shall it be in Jesus' precious name. Let's partake of it with all faith within us and expect your instant miracles. There is power mighty in the blood. There is power mighty in the blood. There is power mighty in the blood of Jesus.
we thank you. Take all the praise in Jesus' precious name. Someone believes God has done it already, shout hallelujah. If you check yourself, you will discover a miracle has taken place. Please don't keep your testimony. Glorify God and by it. Hallelujah. Amen and amen. Amen and amen. Please, this uh, week of spiritual emphasis continues tomorrow. Make sure you are present. And also day after tomorrow. And Sunday service, our restoration service, prepare yourself to be in attendance and tell others. Let's keep to all the announcements. And may the Lord bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. Now I decree, go in peace. Amen. Arrive home in peace. Amen. And I decree your healing shall be confirmed. Your sleep tonight shall be sweet. There shall be angelic visitation. You are returning back with your testimony. In Jesus' precious name. Surely. Praise the Lord. Finally, I'm on my covenant. I will of life. Congratulations, amen and amen. God bless you. See you tomorrow in Jesus' name.